Hey there, it's Mr. Tush over at Global, and today we are going to make an external style sheet. Now, one of the things that's really important about what we're about to do is that if you haven't watched the video on how CSS works, watch that first. Don't start with this video. This should be the second video you do to execute this lesson, not the first. If you do this first, you will get lost. If you do this second, it will make total sense, and you'll be able to run through this fairly quickly. So here we go. Um, assuming you've watched the video, you know this, the theory of what I'm about to do. Um, what I've done now is I've opened up my entire website. So if you take a look at it, here are my four pages. I have my favorite foods page. This image page is where I pulled in that picture of the puppy. And index is my home page. And style play is where I played with the different styles. So here's my styles page where I played with the different styles. And here's where I pulled in the puppy. And here's my list of favorite foods. And here's the code for all of those pages. So my entire website is open in Sublime Text, and I can get around it in Chrome. So we're good to go. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Sublime Text, and I'm going to add a new file. I'm going to call it, new file, I'm going to call it, hang on, go over here, save styles.css. And this is really important. Call it styles.css. Don't be fancy and save it in your website with all the other pages. It's going to be a look like another page, but it's got this funky suffix CSS on it because you won't ever see it. It's an invisible page. And you save it in your website. Don't save it in your images folder. Save it here, and then click Save. That's all you got to do to make this work. And I'll put in my first piece of code because why not? I'm going to go ahead and tell it to change my H1. So I'm going to go down to number three. I'm going to say, okay, I want to change the H1. Now, in order to put in the style information, all you need to know is tell it what tag you're changing and then put in a curly brace. The curly brace is next to the P. You've got the uh, bracket, which is the key next to the P, and then shift the key next to the P is the curly brace. I'm going to open it. Sublime text closes it for me because it's convenient. And I'm going to hit return once. It even formats it for me. There's where it opens and there's where it closes. And here's where I'm going to put all that information in. And I'm just going to change the color of my H1 tags. So I'm going to type in color, colon, and I'm going to put in orange because why not? We won't miss it if it's orange. And I'm going to save it. And theoretically, when I reload my uh, home page here, this, which is an H1, right? This is my H1. Welcome to my website, right? This should turn orange, right? So let's see. It didn't turn orange. Why did that happen? Well, there's the second thing that you have to remember to do for every page. You only have to do it on every page once, but you have to do this on every page. You're going to, type in a, you're going to open up a bracket in the head tag. Make sure you're in the head tag, not body. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. So uh, it's going to be link because we're just, this is just computer code. Do it this way. Trust me. R-E-L equals quote style sheet. Essentially, you're telling your page, okay, oh, link to a style sheet. What type of document am I looking for? Type equals, okay, what type of document am I looking for? Text slash CSS. Then the next thing you're going to add is href. Oh, wait, that's just like the links. It sure is just like the links. And then you put in your quotes and you're going to use styles dot CSS. You see where I have, and then you put my closing bracket. Now, you see where I have styles.css? Make sure this is spelled exactly the same here and here. Make sure they're perfect. Go over here, I'm going to save it. And now, when I refresh it, there we go. It's now orange. But what about my styles page? Wait, wait, it, shouldn't that be orange too? Well, it will be once I tell my styles page to pay attention to the style sheet. So I'm going to copy my line seven here. It doesn't matter if it's on line seven or not, but I'm going to go over to here. I'm going to highlight this one link. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go up to the head tag here and I'm going to paste and save and paste it to favorite foods and save and paste it to uh, style play and save and now watch what happens go back home cute puppy page go back styles page go back favorite foods go back why is this cool 
I'm going to tell you why. Orange, I love the color orange. Not my favorite color for headers, but I wanted to make a point. But I might, for example, want to use a blue. So I'll type in blue. And I will go over here and I will save it. And watch, that's all I've done. I've changed the color here and watch what happens. It changes it here and it changes it here and it changes it here and it changes it everywhere all over the site. So long, and I didn't have to go back and put this link in as long as it's there once, any changes I make here will happen on every one of these pages. So for example, what if I want to change the background color? That's a very popular thing that people like to change. So let's take a look at the background color and how to change that. So if I'm in that, um, one of the things I could do is I could change my background color to a light blue. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type in body because I'm changing the body text. And this is everything that happens in between the body tags, right? Everything in between the body tags. So I'm going to change what happens in between the body tags. I'm going to change the background color color and colon and I'm going to change it to light blue and that's all I have to do go over here and save as soon as I go to a new page it's not changing why is it not changing because I misspelled background oops there we go I'm sorry I misspelled it so let's go change that again and there we go. There's my background color. You see, even I make those mistakes. So realize that, oops, I had a little moment where it didn't work. I didn't panic. I just looked at it and it took a minute, a little bit of growth mindset there. And I said, oh, I have a misspelling in my CSS and that way it doesn't work. Once I spelled it correctly, it worked beautifully. If I don't like my light blue background, but I want to change my light blue black background to um, pink and I want to save it, all I have to do, and now it changes it to pink. Not such a fan of the pink, so I'm going to go to gray, and I'm going to save it, and there we go. That's a gray background. I'm actually going to go back to light blue. I like light blue best of all. And so I'm going to go back and change that, and that's all I have to do, and once I change it, it changes it for the entire page. Everything you do in the styles will go to every other page in the website. So I want to see at least three things in your style sheet that apply to your website. And I want to make sure that all the pages of your website are linked. When that is done, call me over, have me check your completed website. This is a teacher check submission, uh, not a send it in through Google Classroom submission. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.